worlds. A group of angels are recorded by name in the Quran and Sunnah, which include Angel Gabriel, Jibril in Arabic, responsible for communicating Allah's revelation to his prophets. Angel Michael, Mikael, responsible for directing rain, food, crop, and substance with the will of God. Angel Raphael, Israfil, responsible for blowing the trumpet to mark the day of judgment. Angel Malik, leader of the guardians and gatekeepers of the hellfire. The angels Munkar and Nakir, responsible for questioning people in the grave after death. Angel Harut and Angel Marut, who were sent to the people of Babylon to test their faith. Angel Radwan, guardian of heaven. Angel of death, Malik al -Maut, responsible for taking possession of souls from bodies after death by the will of God. Other angels are mentioned in Islamic texts, but not specifically by name. The angels are not to be worshipped, prayed to, or supplicated to, or to be taken as objects of praise or veneration, as they are not divine or semi-divine. Nor do angels deliver prayers to God. The angels are simply in submission to God and carry out His commands. A Muslim recognizes that angels are but a creation of God. God is in no need of the angels' assistance and does not need to be worshipped or venerated by the angels or humans, as he is a free and independent deity who gains nothing from the worship of others. To Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and earth. Indeed, Allah is free of need, the praiseworthy. It is imperative that one learns about the angels so that one can ponder, reflect, and reaffirm over the greatness of his or her creator. The experience of having knowledge and belief in the angels adds to the awe that one feels towards God, and that he is able to create this magnificent being, and indeed can create whatever he pleases and wills. The awe and magnificence of the Almighty's creation reveals and indicates the magnificence of the Almighty himself. This should humble the human being and increase one's God consciousness and love and fear of the Almighty. Having knowledge of the angels would also remind one that his actions are constantly being recorded by the angels, which should decrease one's sins and increase good deeds. Our prophet narrated, whoever guides another to a good deed will get a reward similar to the one who performs it. So please like, subscribe, and share this video. Assalamu alaikum.